So how about using XML with AJAX? After all, the X and AJAX stands for XML. So let's download some XML data from the server behind the scenes using AJAX and decode it. Just to take a look at how it works, we'll get more information about handling XML later on in the course, but this will introduce us to the topic. In this example, options.html, you can select the color scheme, various color schemes, and then select a color from the color scheme to set the color of the highlighted text you see on the screen. For example, if you say use color scheme 1, then the colors in color scheme 1 will be downloaded from XML data from the server and loaded into the drop-down list box, as you see here. So I've clicked the Use Color Scheme 1 button, and you have the possibilities here, red, green, and blue. And if you select a color, then it will color that the text, as you see here, the corresponding with the corresponding color that you selected, in this case, blue. If you select Color Scheme 2, then behind the scenes, using AJAX, the scheme, the colors in Scheme 2 will be downloaded and loaded into that drop-down list box, as you see here. This color scheme has black, white, and orange colors available, and you can select one of those colors in order to and color the text here. So this is our example over the next few movies that will use AJAX and XML. You can use the first color scheme to download using XML data the colors in the first color scheme, red, green, and blue, or you can download the colors in the second color scheme, black, white, and orange, and you can use those to set the color of the text in this page in options.html. Now, this options.html interacts with two different PHP scripts on the server, which create the XML necessary to set the, specify the color scheme. Here, there are options1 and options2.php. Here's options1.php. Now, this is as advanced PHP as you're going to need to know in the course, and it's also fairly evident what's happening here. It sets the header information. This is going to create the XML for options1.php, creates the XML for the first color scheme, red, green, and blue. It sets first a, the header information to content type text slash XML. This is necessary because you need to tell the browser what kind of data you're sending back to the browser. In this case, we're saying we are sending XML data, text-based XML data, back to the browser. This header line is a very important and necessary line, so the browser can interpret your data as XML and fill the response XML property of the XML HTTP request object as opposed to the request text, response text property of the XML HTTP request object. So you have to set the header to XML when you're passing back XML from a PHP script. Then we create an array of the possible options in the color scheme, red, green, and blue. We store those options in an array named options. In PHP, variables begin with a dollar sign, as you see here. Then we echo a, an XML declaration. Every valid XML document must begin with an XML declaration of this format. You say angle bracket question mark XML. You must supply the version number and end with question mark angle bracket. So every legal XML document must begin with the XML declaration like that. The possible version numbers are 1.0 and 1.1. Currently, 1.0 is the more commonly used, so we're going to say that our XML document, we're passing back from this PHP file, containing elements that contain the data red, green, and blue, is version 1.0. Now we're going to create a an options element. This will be the root element, if you're familiar with XML, of the XML document. And then we're going to loop over the array of colors and store each one of those colors in an option element. So there you see this is a for each loop in PHP. It loops over all the elements in the options array and echoes them, sending it back to the browser inside option element. And then we finally close off the root element options like this. And so what does the what does the XML look like that's been created this way? It looks like this an XML declaration first, followed by an options element, and then three option elements.
containing red, green, and blue. So this is the XML data we're going to be working with, sending back, that is sent back to the browser, and this is the XML data we've got to decode using AJAX. Similarly, that is for the first color scheme. The second color scheme, black, white, and orange, is set in a PHP file called options2.php. The actual mechanism, the actual mechanistics of the mechanics of the options PHP files is not terribly important. What is important is that they are able to send back XML data back to the back to the browser, as you see here in format like this, enclosing their colors inside option elements. Now we've got to our next step will be to work with the XML, download the XML in an Ajax application and extract the colors, the various colors from the various option elements.